welcome to all of you to this discussion on the coal sector. I will not dwell on the coal sector as we have three eminent speakers here. We have Mr. Parak, who had studied in the uh, University of Rurki, which is now IIT Rurki. And then he joined the government in the IAS in 1969, Andhra Pradesh Kada. He's worked both in the state government and in government of India, and his last assignment was in the Ministry of Coal. And of course, from there... Ladies and gentlemen, first of all, let me thank uh, Rakesh for organizing this interaction. Before my book was released in Hyderabad, I had uh, requested Rakesh whether a hall in India International uh, India Habitat Center will be available for my book release function. He said it is slightly controversial book, and therefore <laughs> we are a little hesitant in making this place available. So after the book was released in Hyderabad. I checked up from him whether it will be appropriate to have a panel discussion on the book now. And that's how we are here this evening. Uh, well, I've been meeting Mr. Parekh quite often and we ran into one another uh, also in the CBI office. Uh, <clears throat> well, he was called for another reason, I was called for another reason. That's a different story. He has given a complete picture as to what happened, what are the, uh, the, the, the fallouts of uh, the Supreme Court judgment. I was really wondering, because I've been thinking about, and Rakesh told me to talk of coal past and future, to what exactly should I say to a, such a brilliant audience? Probably reads too much and perhaps knows a lot. Um, I would say that a certain area which is not public as yet, and I often thought that one should write about it, but somehow uh, I've probably not been so bold enough as Mr. Parekh to come out and, and talk about it. <coughs> this is essentially, I'm going to say, is what I felt for a couple of months when I was secretary in the Ministry of Coal. Uh, my story begins sometime in October, November 2011, when <clears throat> a sudden news was leaked out, said that this was a, a CAG finding. It came into the press, which said that one particular power company has been given X number of blocks and its benefit is going to be more than 1.2 lakh crores. This was what the news came in the press and it created a, a flutter. We are here to discuss uh, the past of the coal sector and the future of the coal sector. Uh, and uh, at the outset I must say I have read Mr. Parak's book and I must compliment him for this very exhaustive, rich book that he has put out. Uh, it's not a flashy book, uh, it is, but it's rich with content, and content that will make you think. And much of what I'm going to say here is actually inspired out of what I read from his book. Um, the first lesson that I learned from his book um, is that India's politics has not changed. I, uh, I have largely covered the financial sector and we have been writing about various things about how uh, insurance sector reforms were mooted by the Congress government, opposed by the BJP government when they came to power. And again, when the Congress came, the BJP opposed it again. And when BJP wanted to bring it in, I mean, raising the foreign investment there. 
So the Congress wanted to put its foot down.